Good evening, welcome to all pharmacists from all over the world. First of all, thank you all for joining this group on Facebook. We have now reached 9,000 pharmacists from all over the world. To make this gathering more effective, because it seems to everyone that the interaction rate on the group is somewhat weak. There are hundreds of inquiries such as, does Australia still need pharmacists? Does the field of work in Australia still need new pharmacists? What are the types of visas that I can immigrate through to Australia? What is the difference between the types of visas, especially sponsorship visas? What is the best visa that I can immigrate through? How much is the salary of a pharmacist in Australia and what about the living expenses in Australia? Do I have to have years of experience to apply for immigration? How do I evaluate my file if it is a good opportunity to immigrate or not? How do I start the immigration process and what are the required documents? I am trying to respond to them, but due to the lack of time, we were unable to respond to everyone. This channel was opened on YouTube so that the interaction would be stronger and positive and this gathering would be more positive. Through this channel, we will provide a detailed presentation and explanation of each part. We will start first by talking about the field of work of pharmacists in Australia on the ground and whether Australia is actually exposed to a severe shortage in the number of pharmacists. Secondly, in order to immigrate as a pharmacist to Australia, how many types of visas are available to you and how can you determine your chances of success in achieving the condition of each visa? Therefore, we will provide a detailed explanation of each type of visa, what are the conditions, and what about the advantages of the visa in terms of the advantages of the Centrelink, and whether you are eligible to obtain Medicare coverage or not, and the benefits that you will get if you have children, as the costs of nurseries are very expensive, then what is the cost of each type of visa, and what about the processing time for each visa? Thirdly, what are the areas of work of the pharmacist? Is it only, as many believe, working in a private pharmacy or a pharmacy affiliated with a hospital? But you will be surprised by the truth that the pharmacist has many profitable areas as well. From here, we will start presenting the steps and papers required from the official website for pharmacist immigration, which is the Australian Pharmacy Council. To make it easier for everyone, I will explain each step or paper on how to obtain it, but so that you know that we are not affiliated with a law firm or immigration agency, but rather all this information is from the official website and from the experiences of all pharmacists who immigrated to Australia. After that, I will talk about the average living expenses in Australia, and I will talk specifically about the state of Victoria, which is considered one of the largest Australian states in receiving and welcoming pharmacists due to the presence of a large and increasing field of work for pharmacists daily and due to the large area of land and the continuous need for investment and opening more pharmacies to provide higher health services and with higher efficiencies to Australian citizens in all parts of the state. From here, we will move to the most difficult and important step that is constantly being discussed, which is passing the first part of the equation for those who have obtained a pharmacy certificate in all parts of the world, which every pharmacist must pass as an essential and pivotal part of immigration, which is the Overseas Pharmacists Readiness Assessment Exam with the new name. We will present the conditions and papers required to apply for the exam, and what are the exam dates in terms of when reservations for a seat in the exam are open. And the most positive thing now is that many countries have established centers to allow pharmacists residing in them to take the exam within the country instead of having to travel and bear more expenses and burdens, which are considered positive decisions and reflect the extent of the ongoing need for pharmacists and the increase in the number of those eligible to immigrate to Australia and how much the reservation costs and when the exam results appear after that. Then we will start publishing lectures through the channel for a detailed explanation of each part of the equation curriculum. 
We will start with organic chemistry lectures and explain the basics of organic chemistry and focus on the strongest points required to pass the exam. Then we will move on to the pharmaceutics part, which is considered one of the longest parts and requires you to be familiar with many parts and points. From here, we will then start publishing pharmacology lectures, which are one of the parts that require focus and explanation for each category and class of drugs, starting with a simple explanation about the medical condition, its cause and symptoms. Then the drugs used with an organized presentation of the active ingredients and how they work inside the body and their side effects, including all the medications which affects on the central nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. Then we'll go through the endocrinology part, including the diabetes and all endocrine glands. Then we will move on to the various remaining parts of the curriculum from antivirals, antibacterials, antiparasitic and antifungal, anthelmintics, and we'll do sessions on all body tracts, GIT, eye, respiratory. Then we will go into detail about how to solve pharmaceutical problems, because there are a number of ideas for the problems. I will show you easy and flexible ways to deal with these problems, because they are considered questions that are guaranteed to be passed in the exam. The lectures will also include a part about general pharmacy in Australia. After that, we will discuss a number of lectures in which most of the repeated questions in the last 10 years will be presented, which always include repeated questions at a rate that may reach 30% of the exam. We will not stop there, but I will move to the second stage of the equation, and in this part, we will present the steps and procedures that must be completed to obtain a license to practice the profession as an Australian license by the AHPRA. Among these steps is passing two exams, the first of which is the written exam, which is done by the Australian Board of Pharmacists, and the oral assessment exam, which is done by the AHPRA, which is the final exam to obtain a license to practice the profession as a pharmacist in Australia. Therefore, please support the channel and the idea so that you can benefit from it personally and transfer the benefit to hundreds of pharmacists who wish to achieve their dream, which is to immigrate to live and work in Australia. So join the channel by simply like and subscribe and share E.